What is going on you crazy goofs? It is Zed here back with a tutorial video. Now this has been my most requested uh, tutorial video recently, the Game Pass Game Pass and Developer Product tutorial. Now this is going to be a really special one because I have combined I repeat guys, take no I have combined developer products and game passes into one script into one GUI. No more separating, no more worrying about it. This is actually gonna be easy peasy now once you get the kit in the description by the way I'm gonna link it to uh, to a model on Roblox once you guys get it go ahead and drag this GUI into the starter GUI and then you want to drag this script into server script service now if you guys don't have this explorer or property properties you guys are gonna need it go ahead into view and then I would actually just hit all these three things right here Explorer, Properties, and Toolbox. But, anyways, for this video, you're probably just going to need Explorer and Properties. Let's dive into the GUI. Basically, guys, you guys are just going to need to edit everything in the buttons. Now, I have four developer product buttons right here, and then I have two Game Pass buttons. What do you notice, guys? There's something in the Game Pass. It's all it is is just a bool value. You guys, you guys don't need to edit anything. You guys can just don't need to do it on true or false. This is just basically so the script knows. It looks for anything inside the button. If if it sees this game pass thing, it registers it as a game pass and prompts the purchase as a game pass. All right. Now you guys don't need to know what that means if you if you don't. But it's just uh I just implemented this so you guys can have it in one frame. And you guys can obviously edit this, make it bigger, smaller, change the background, more buttons. But for this video, I'm just going to stick with the six that we have. Now, this script deals with three different scenarios. You guys can give money to players from, you know, if you're uh, in a tycoon, you guys got a player money folder and server storage. Uh, this actually, the tycoon generates itself, so just don't, I'm talking, might be talking nerd here, but ignore me for the for the time being basically guys you can uh, change your money stats you guys can give weapons and tools to players and then you guys can also affect uh, the obvious speed and health more speed more health height you know jump height may be coming later but we got these two for now alright so for the buttons you guys just wanna change the name of the button to the ID of the developer product or the game pass that you guys want for the player to be purchasing Alright guys, so if you don't know how to make a developer product, you guys can go right ahead into develop right here. Find, go to games or places and find the uh, the place. Now, I want to do it in this test one, so I go to uh, configure place. And then you head on over to developer products. Now I made all these already. Uh, you guys just hit create new, create uh, the name, the price, save, and then this is going to be the registered ID. Same thing for game passes, it's just going to be on the game pass t uh, tab in the game alright guys now once you have your GUI set up how you want it let's go head on over to the scary part the script right here alright guys now this it's easier than it was with my last developer product tutorial because you know it's just like one table here and then one other here basically all this I all this stuff in here will be your developer product items and all of this stuff is going to be your game pass uh, perks now as you see here this is one game pass this is another right you put in your ID inside the first brackets and then after the equal sign this is going to be where all the perks are now let's go over this just follow me you guys could ignore this right now if you just put a number that basically means how much cash the player will be getting when they join in the game so this is going to be a million cash. If you guys want it to give the player a million cash and let's say 25 walk speed, you know, so they have a 25 walk speed boost throughout the whole game. This is how you guys edit the walk speed. All you guys got to do, quotation, W for walk speed, colon, and then how much uh, speed you want the player to get. So I want him to get an extra 25 speed, right? Now, if you guys can stop there, that's all you want. If you want to just give the money and the speed. 
Now I'm gonna keep on going further. This is how you guys give more health. Same thing as the walk speed, but the H for health. And then you guys can hit on the colon, and then however much extra health you want the player to get. Now this will stack. Like you guys see this normal VIP I have right here. Uh, this this will has this gives another 30 health and another 10 walk speed. It will actually add on to these so you can have multiple game passes adding on and stacking together money and health and speed. Now guys, how you get weapons, game pass weapons, right? Player joins a game, how do they spawn with weapons? All you guys need to do is type in, now you guys, this is probably going to be the only coding is typing in the perks you want in the IDs, but you type in where the weapon is located so say I want to give this minigun to a player with this uh, with this VIP all you guys gotta do is game because this whole thing is in a game and then it's located inside of server storage dot server storage and then the actual gun is called minigun dot minigun now you just have to reference it like that the script will clone it and put it in the players uh, backpack whenever the player spawns now if you guys want another gun or another thing you guys have to follow it with a comma and say you have a weapon that's in lighting you guys do the same thing basically game dot lighting dot minigun or whatever it is alright and you guys don't need a, another comma if this is your last one you guys can go ahead and just finish it off like that alright so here's all my developer products uh, basically you guys are gonna be using this for single use so like you know if someone buys a developer product with a minigun they get it in their backpack they die it disappears right same goes for walk speed and health I'll also let me mention if you guys want more game passes or less you just guys, you guys just gotta copy this this section right here and then paste it in and then you guys just wanna change this to another ID and then in here is the different perks or whatever you guys want. I got same thing for developer products. You guys just want to copy one, go down a line or two, paste it in, make sure the one before the last one has a comma. Last one doesn't need one, but all the others before do. You guys change up the ID, add the perk that they get, bam, you're done. All right guys, so once you have all your configuration set, everything in your script all of this ready now it's time to test now I don't think it will work in studio so what I do is I publish to Roblox right here and then you wanna you wanna go test in game alright guys I have joined the game now and you can see that the VAP part worked I got my million cash I got the bit of extra health and you guys may notice oh that's a bit less health but what it actually does is uh, extra health increases your max health so your regular health stayed the same but as you can see it regenerated and now I'm fine and I have the the 10 extra walk speed by a bit alright guys so let's test out the shop so I'm gonna go ahead and buy the 1000 extra cash boom works let's go ahead and get the minigun works now let's go ahead and try out the speed now it says 10 but I actually made it 25 so I can run around this map so that works let's go ahead and buy it again so it stacks obviously and then of course you got the health the health perk right here now, I already have the VIP and mega VIP but I already own this item so it's not gonna charge me but that just is to prove it that it works so there should not be any problems if you guys follow the steps in this video if you do, go ahead and message me on Roblox. Uh, some er what what your errors are. It's you guys can actually if it errors and it for some reason doesn't work, you guys can go ahead and press F9, server log, and then if any error message will pop up right in here, just send me what it says, and I'll try to figure out a way to fix it. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe for more content. Follow me on Twitter for a chance at giveaways. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.